Hi everybody, it's me again. And uh, you know, today after I received some comments on my, on some of my videos, um, I decided to make this video for you, you all that have maybe some doubts about, uh, you know, on starting with antidepressants and you know the effects that you may have the first weeks you start an antidepressant. Uh, about me, well, I am still on Lexapro, still on clonopin, uh, 0.25 milligrams of clonopin in the morning, um, 10 milligrams of Lexapro also in the morning. I will stay on these meds, you know, indefinitely because um, my disorder is not something I believe, uh, you know, I can solve just with therapy and uh, well this may change but uh, as my psychiatrist said and I think I will need to take these pills for a long time if not forever. Uh, anyways for sleeping I use melatonin and uh, balena root as I described in other videos and they are uh, very very effective. If you in combination or alone. I use the two, but um, you know, uh, melatonin, especially if uh, sublingually, it's really a very, very good sleep aid, whereas Valerian Root is a very good relaxant. So, uh, but that's not my point of, of the video. My point is um, what to expect during the first month or so of treatment with an antidepressant and today I'm going to focus about uh, SSRIs such as uh, Lexapro or uh, you know Selexa, Fluoxetine or Prozac, uh, you know Zoloft, uh, Fluvoxamine, uh, Paroxetine and this stuff. Uh, some concepts can be applied also to SNRIs such as uh, Duloxetine or Venlafaxin and uh, to a certain extent extend also to bupropion but more or less you know uh, SSRIs in particular are uh, the, um, the one I will be explaining about. Um, you know when you start taking an antidepressant it won't work right away. Uh, it's not very, this topic is not very simple. I will try to make it simple but you know because of my difficulty in the language and stuff maybe you will not understand entirely or I will not be capable of explaining it mm, very well but uh, if you have any doubt you can write you know a comment and I will try to explain it uh, a little better. The thing with antidepressants is that when you first take your pill, you take your first pill and it uh, immediately goes after you know after one hour two hour depending on the molecule it goes to your brain and inhibits the reuptake of serotonin um, by the neurons so it means that more serotonin is going to um, stay in the synapse which is the connection between two neurons so more serotonin will be um, will be staying in the synapse and more receptors serotonin receptors will be stimulated. The thing with serotonin receptors is that not every serotonin receptors are uh, un have, have an antidepressant effect or an, an, an anxiolytic effect. In fact, um, some of the serotonin receptors when stimulated can be anxiogenic or prodepressant or both, you know, so when S SSRIs uh, just um, increase the concentration of serotonin in the, in the synapse, uh, all serotonin receptors at first will be stimulated. Serotonin receptors have uh, a variety of name, uh, and names and they, you know, they are abbreviated with 5-HT and a number which is the number of the subtype of the receptor. One uh, serotonin receptor subtype which is linked with the uh, positive effects of antidepressant is called the 5-HT1A receptor. 
and that's the receptor that when will be stimulated by the serotonin will um, cause the you know the positive effect of, of the antidepressants such as anxiolysis and elevation of mood but there is one other receptor which is called the 5-HT2C receptor that when it's stimulated by serotonin will cause negative effects such as depression and anxiety. It's a bit more complicated than that but uh, it gives you an overview of um, you know the main impo uh, the two most important receptors uh, in, um, involved in the role of, uh, of um, depression and the relieving of, the, of depression by SSRI. What happens? During the first weeks of treatment, first three, four weeks, the, um, the effects on the 5-HT2C receptor by serotonin will um, outweigh the positive effect on the 5-HT1A receptor so you can feel you know more depressed uh, and more anxious during the first weeks of treatment but what happens after some weeks of treatment is that the 5-HT2C receptor will be desensitized by the excess serotonin which, which uh, remains in the synapse and so you won't have the negative effects induced by these receptors, instead you will have the positive effects that the 5-HT1A receptor gives you. That's in, in simple terms. Uh, so I will, I, I hope you, it's, it's easy to understand. Um, the thing is, uh, many people, you know, take antidepressants for the first time and say what the hell I am taking an antidepressant and now I'm feeling worse what's the deal with that well you have to be patient because these uh, subtypes of serotonin receptor must uh, be sensitized uh, for the good receptors uh, to um, exert the, their, their effect um, so really the key with when starting an antidepressant is patience because after one month or one month and a half of maybe worse depression you can uh, try you can begin to um, uh, you can begin to feel the positive effects of the uh, SSRI in of course everybody is different and not every uh, every time uh, an SSRI can work for you but you know for me it did so um, I mean I, I believe that uh, many other people will be helped by by SSRI I, w I would like to focus on two things in particular with SSRIs which are two bad side effects and and can be you know uh, this is, uh, can be um, uh, I don't know the word <laughs> um, important when some when people start antidepressants. One is that when you first take the antidepressant, you will feel an increase in energy many times, an increase in, in an, an urge to move, to move around, you know, to do things and an in, inner uh, restlessness and that's called agathegia you know that in the black box warning you you may see you see the the, the warning that says antidepressants may induce suicides and stuff that's because suicidal people who actually want to do want to commit suicide don't have the strength to do it while they are depressed but as they take the antidepressant and they begin to have the strength to do things but the effect of the antidepressant is still not present and can be exacerbated by the pro-depressant effect of the antidepressant during the first weeks actually suicidal people who start an antidepressant may find the strength to commit suicide and I would like to say to those people 
please don't do it, just have a little patience and wait for the antidepressant to, uh, you know, um, start its effect, because, you know, suicide is never the solution. I, I have suicidal thoughts, I have suicidal thoughts, but then, you know, I say, life is worth living, whatever it is, if it's bad, you know, it may, it may get better. Uh, so please, I mean, don't commit suicide. That's just just wait for the for the effect for the good effect of the antidepressant to uh, occur. Another thing is many people complain. That's also when the actual actual effect of the antidepressant began. Complain of a mood flattening or mood blunting. That's when you say, you know, I really don't care much about things and I mean, you know, everything is okay, everything is fine, I don't care, you know. Many people um, can feel that. In my case, I can feel that sometimes, and in my case it's positive, because, you know, I suffer from BPD, which is a disorder that, among other things, is, um, uh, is characterized by an extreme uh, hypersensitivity, if I can, if I can um, say this way. So, emotions affect me in a in a very strong way and exaggerated way. But and so for me, this mood flattening effect is a good thing because I'm still I, I'm able to feel emotions, but I'm not over overwhelmed by them. So that's very good. But other people can say, well, you know, I don't like this thing because I don't feel like myself. Well, that's a side effect of SSRI and it probably won't go away with time. So if you suffer from this, you may want to look uh, to, uh, with, with, your, with your doctor, of course, uh, you may want to look to another class of antidepressants, such as uh, bupropion, for example. Um, Side effects from, from SSRIs can be uh, normally are mm, you know mild, and they uh, usually subside after the four weeks of treatment. They include uh, sexual dysfunction, uh, which is very common among users of SSRIs. It didn't affect me because I I'm naturally always on a high on a very high libido, so I I didn't uh, really. Uh, notice a, a change um, can include increased sweating and it happened to me sometimes uh, dizziness it didn't happen to me nausea it didn't happen to me but may happen for some people um, and well that's basically what I wanted to talk about uh, and the importance the importance of patients when you start an antidepressant because side effects tend to go away with time apart from the um, sexual side effect which can persist over time um, well I hope maybe I I clarify you know I could um, make things clearer and um, I hope I was clear myself so I wish you good luck with everything and anything you can you can comment on my you know on my video. So um, I wish you good luck and you know stay well. Bye.